Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video today. It's one I've been wanting to do ever since I started my YouTube. It's the Meet My Boyfriend vlog. This is my boyfriend Brock. Hey, hey. You guys have already seen him on my channel, but I know a lot of you have asked how we met and we've never posted any photos together, just some just some Instagram stories. So if you don't watch my stories, you haven't seen much of this guy until YouTube. So I think we should go back to the beginning, to the night we met. But I feel like I wanna go back in our DMs and see if we can scroll all the way to the top because that's really where it started. What, we also went to your DMs? Yeah. yeah. But before that, we were in San Diego, September 15th. It was a music festival weekend, this festival called Kaboo. Mm -hmm. Second night, we weren't ready for the party to be over. I ended up at an after party where I ran into this guy, heard the accent, and I was like, wait, I was just in Australia and New Zealand. And then um, nothing yeah. no, happened really, that night. Was it that night? Oh, no, the next day. Yeah, we like, I mean, we hung out that entire night. We waited till my Uber came and then that was it. Didn't exchange phone numbers. And then the next day. Kaboom. You left me in a lot, you left me in a hotel room for like two and a half hours. Okay, but no, I didn't. Danielle was taking forever to get ready. And you didn't want to so, rush it. it was a, I remember this actually. It was like, <laughs> the, it was the most awkwardest like friend relationship. Cause I was like, we're at a festival, but then she doesn't want to rush her friend this time. I remember telling me, she was like, look, it's my friend Danielle, like I can't rush her to a festival, she'll get upset. I'm like, first off, we're at a festival, so like, she should be ready. Secondly, she should be rushed because it's a festival. So I was thinking about this friend dynamic from the get go. I was like, well, this is this is quite weird, but okay, we can wait for this one person that's holding four humans up. Because... Regardless, during that time that she was taking so long to get ready, we ended up just the two of us watching football, it was a Sunday, yeah. had some drinks, got to know each other, so it wasn't bad that we had to wait for her. It wasn't bad, it wasn't. It was but just... I want to go back to the DM okay. because it had to do with football as well. But that was the night before, because because I met you and I didn't know, I never, obviously wasn't, didn't watch your show and um, that was apparent when I tried to search your name the next day, but it turned out that my friend who invited us, who were at NASA, or however it was, Sean Coughlin, thanks brother. Um, he introduced us and asked, I hit him up. I was like, what's that chick's name and her social media handle? And I remember going on and seeing 1, 1 million, 1.1 1 .1 or whatever it was. And I was like, oh, here we go. Like another one of these girls that have all these followers. Big and... Instagram hoe. So I, was, I, I put that up, I was like, oh, well, you know what, I'm gonna shoot my shot. Because to be honest, I didn't know, I didn't think you had 1.1 real followers. I just mm -hmm. thought you had just like, you know, the, the fake encounters. So I was like, yeah. I've got a chance. Mm -hmm. If I knew now what I knew then, I don't even know if I would have sent you a text. I would have just been like, oh, slid in because I would have just been like, <laughs> which is the reality. I would have just been like, oh, this chick's got so many DMs, I'm not even gonna try. So and that's the, why, well, the that's funny why thing I is, watch, find that DM. So I never check my like 99 plus DMs because there's just always a lot and it's, negative or it's a dick pic or whatever, I don't check them often. So this morning, my girlfriend was like, oh, we got tagged in a really cute video from the club last night, go check your Instagram. So I go to my extra DMs, I see the video, and then right above it, at the time, his Instagram handle was be the lion, and I was like, what's this? And I opened it up. <laughs> That's what got you up, yeah. be lying, be lying. I was just like, oh, like, and I mean, your picture, I think I could see a little bit of you, and I was like, huh, who's this guy? And why did he ask me to a Rams game? But what was it exactly that you said? Oh my God, so this you is, can go back. This is the next day, it goes, are you heading back up to LA today? What are the chances I can take you to a Rams game? Or next time, I'll, uh, or next, oh, sometime, oh, some, <laughs> Or something next time I'm up your way. 
because I remember you, I, I may not remember you saying from LA, and so I did my stalk, and uh -huh. I saw the first post was your uh, at a Chargers game. At a Chargers game. game. So yeah. I just assumed you like football, so. I do. I put two or two together, and I was like, hey, let's shoot my shot. Yeah, and boom, we exchanged numbers, went to the festival together, where we ran into my friend Jim Broutman, who was like, oh my God, he's so cute, take a photo. And we're like, oh my, we just met, like, 12 hours ago and we end up in what's now such an adorable first photo of us. And then that night during Mumford and Sons, okay. anyway, during whatever song, he like made a bet with my friend that he could do the dirty dancing move with me. And we're like, no way. So everyone pulls out their phone. Could be no way. Uh, I don't know, no, one's, no one is ever able to like do that. That's like, I mean, that takes strength on both parties, by the way. It's oh. not a proper <laughs> strength. It's core, because you gotta, you know. So he does that move. All of my friends had their cameras out. And right after, when I came out of it, he planted one on me. And I got our first kiss on camera. Yeah, I got, a, got up there and then came back down and just went with the, went with the swing of it. and. Just turned out, I gave you, gave you a little peck. Yeah. And the reason he's wearing a puppy's wine and I'm fine shirt is because Danielle was cold and he literally took the shirt off his back, gave it to her, then realized he looked like a douchebag. He's <laughs> the only person walking around without a shirt on at a festival yeah. in September. It's not, it's not, not yeah, Coachella. It's not, not like Coachella somewhere. It was like, <laughs> it was like a well-rounded group of like people. There. <laughs> I mean, it was brought with the shirt off, so. Yeah, so um, that's why. And then even I remember at the end of the night, you put me on your shoulders because I didn't want to walk and be hurt or maybe I was just Here we go. The DM was replied the next morning with, hey, do you want to read this out in your yeah. time? <laughs> hey, we're heading back tonight, yeah. And that would be fun. As long as it's not a home Chargers game, I'm down because as we all know, our season tickets to the Chargers. And then we exchange numbers. So. After that, a couple weeks go by, he came up to LA to see me for lunch one day. And we went to like the Whaler, we got lunch, went to Brennan, shot some pool. We're just like hanging out. I've known him for like four or five days. And then we kept in touch. Two weeks later, I went back down to San Diego to see him. We went to Cross Music Festival, so now that's kind of like become our thing. And that was, I think, well, I mean, I know that was obviously like the determining point of, okay, I do want to see where this goes with this guy, because that was when... <laughs> Children may be watching. You got a beep touch. You got a, she got a purple cucumber touch. So that, so that, I remember you telling me about this. So her defining moment of our relationship to know if this was going to try and go somewhere was up and grind on me. I mean, feel. you know, there's got to be chemistry, like... I mean, I thought the chemistry was there, apparently. There, it involves well, a touch. It's, uh, overall, it... No, it's whatever. Julie noted. After, well, I, passed, I, passed, I passed the test. After Cross... I passed the test? Yes, of course you did. We're <laughs> still here. After Cross, I got really sick, and we had to shoot... This was on Monday morning. I wake up really sick. The next day on Tuesday, we're shooting our main titles for Vanderpump Bulls. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, I had to drive back to LA on Monday. What's, main, what's main titles? Like the opening credits when I do the... You have to film that? I thought that they said that would repeat every year. Well, I... No, no, no. <laughs> this year, I actually didn't redo mine, but I still had to do the group shot with all the new Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because that's why I was like... Okay. Yeah. So regardless, I had to be in LA and early because it was an early shoot. So I don't feel well. He was like, I wish like I could like come to LA tonight, you know, so you didn't have to like drive alone, blah, blah, blah. We're figuring out like, okay, but if he were to drive with me, I was like, I mean, if you're being serious, the Amtrak does go to San Diego. So he drove my car for me up to LA, took the train back to San Diego. And then again, the next day after main titles drove up to make me dinner, this like homemade honey ginger lemon tea that's like mom's special. Oh, I forgot all of this. And I was just like, no, I didn't. Yeah. Wow. And then, do you remember what you did that weekend? Probably drove back up. You surprised me again 
but in another city. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, crossed weekend, my friend Danielle, a lot of this goes back to Danielle, but it's crazy because she's someone who is new in my life. It's going to be a year next week. Our stagecoach was our anniversary. But it's crazy because had she not come into my life last stage coach, I never would have met him. So there's a lot of things in the beginning that do circle around her. It's now her birthday. She had this like really dope specific jacket she wanted to wear on her birthday that she also wore across and left in San Diego. Yeah, I was meant to, so I, I said I'll, I'll send it to her, right? And I, go, I said I'll give it to my mate who was gonna, who was gonna come out. He lived in Vegas, Evan. Mm -hmm. But then um, I didn't because it was a big weekend of partying and I forgot to. So then, so then you guys are in Vegas the next week and she asks if Evan has it. I'm like, oh. Yeah, let me check real quick. I'll get him, I'll see, I'll get him to bring it to you. <laughs> Thinking he did, made out as if he did have it. And I'm texting my mate frantically. I'm like, bro, where, where can you go? Can you go to like Urban Outfitters and try and find a shirt? It's not the same. And it's not the same. That's how so guys that. think. Like, oh, it's, it's fine. It's like a jacket. Like, just get another His jacket. response was just like, bro, I'm, I'm not shopping for some chick. I have no idea what I'm getting. <laughs> so I had, I had one option. And that was, that was to bring the, bring the t-shirt out, pretend my mate Evan has it but then realize, then surprise her with the shirt and be like, surprise. That was my yeah. process. Yeah. How, how was it on your But end? <laughs> it, it worked. So I go down to the lobby to meet his friend and then I see him there with the jacket and I was just like, wait, what? Like mind blown. But then we had so much fun in Vegas that night. I pushed him away still because I was like, mm, starting to catch some feelings. All right, yeah, I flew in, we partied and then I flew out. Well, yes, but oh, nailed down. Got it. <laughs> Throw it press out. ons. We're in quarantine. Sorry, you know? that was That's all me. I can do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so there was one thing that night too that he did that I'll never forget. Every year on October fourth, I had a friend who passed away that day, and I always wish out Jameson for him. And so I was telling Danielle, I was like, well, now I have a reason to like celebrate your birthday and like not just like be sad on this day every year. But there was so much going on in Vegas. I was trying to organize everything for her birthday. I completely just like blanked. And we get back to the hotel at like 3 a.m. And he like goes to grab a water and I'm just like, oh my God, can we just like figure out the after party we're going to? Like we don't need water, there's water in the room. And he came back with a bottle of James and was like, we're going to a shop for your friend today. And that, I forgot about that. Mm. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. That was, that was. And I one. remember being in the elevator holding the Jameson and my eyes were like, swell up with tears. <laughs> and Jamie and Danielle were like, stop it, stop it, accept it, feel it, don't push it away. And I was like, he's gotta that's go. So, that's he's so gotta funny. Go. I remember that. Yeah. I remember and that. I told you, lose my number and never speak to me again. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm that was it. But, um, where are we on that one? Yeah, there. and then we went to a couple of Chargers games together, and that was right before you left for Australia for three weeks. Yep. And right before he left, I was driving him to the airport after a Chargers game. I see, well, when I got back, I see all of these notes that he had left me on my mirror, in the refrigerator, by the like, bed. Like literally? Like, no, it's my lip. What's the lip for that? Well, I think you did maybe have a typo on the your and your was still working. Yeah. It's a work in progress. Like but that. but yeah, that was that was a cute little moment. And then three weeks where you're in Australia and in Bali with your friends and family. He played in a rugby game. Okay, here's the part I love. Who would have thought that I would see you on TV before you would see me on TV? But, but you say that, right? But I, in my head, I was like, ah. but I didn't know you were on the TV. Well, and I didn't know you were still playing rugby. Rugby, rugby star. It's rugby star, as they say, but come in Australia, <laughs> but you know. Also, before he left, I just wanted him to have a little something with him to think about me every day. So I got him this like adorable little lion. We named him Math Majestic yes. AF. Yeah. And he took all of these like really cute pictures with him, like at like the opera house and Oh, so cringy. Oh, it was so cute. Oh, oh yeah. And oh. then he decided that to, No, I wait, I went to Bali for this. So we've been to Bali, right? And, and I wasn't allowed to FaceTime her because of, 
she, she was getting oh, pissed that I was having too much well, of a good time. And that's she wasn't exactly here. where I was just going to get to. Oh. Where <laughs> I was so bitter FOMO that he didn't just go back to Australia to play rugby and see his family. He went to Bali with all of his boys and FaceTimes me from this place called Finn's. And I was just I was like, like Omnia, Omnia. Omnia whatever, same thing. If you want, you guys look. <laughs> Video, what is it? Uh, image of Omnia. It's it's as cool as fit, but it was amazing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So he's there, and I was just like, I don't need to see how amazing this place is that I've always wanted to go to. You can just like not FaceTime me from Bali. Kept doing it. Kept doing it. But I then we decided that he was still going to be gone like another what five, six weeks. That was just too long when we just started seeing each other. So, well, I think it was always going to be a three week trip, right? No, it was three weeks before I was maybe going to come. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And then you still had like three weeks or yeah. whatever it was. It was like, I think six, five, six weeks we were on trip. Yeah. So whatever. So I end up going out to Australia. I met the fam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, just talking about this, this just reminds me of all of it. It's good. It was nothing, there's nothing bad about it, but yeah. She met the family, and then obviously, because of Sheen and Shay, I remember like my cousins and all that were like fangirling over it, and my sister loves it because, like, oh, it's just funny. Woo. And then he tells me we're going to Uluru, in the middle of the outback, where they have this like really cool light field that I still want to go to one day. So <laughs> I, I think that we're going to Uluru and this entire story is on my friends giving podcast. We told it in depth details. So I'm not going to get into it in full again, but he completely tricked me with getting on the actual airplane, not knowing I was going to Bali until the flight attendant said, sir, you'll get your bag when we land in Bali. And I was like, is there a blue? I know. I, th I feel like I got away from at that point too. You yeah. still were like, I was so why was it barren? I was like, babe, we stop off at Uluru and then we go to Bali. And then when we get there, we're, and, then, and you're like, oh, okay. And then still five minutes later, I was trying to put the headphones on you because yeah. as I was reaching for the bag, as, as I was reaching about to get out of the headphones, you're like, you hit a flight attendant guy. Welcome to flight, blah, 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 going yeah. to depths of Bali. You're like, what? I was like, oh, surprise. Yeah, and then we went and did all of the things I had so much FOMO over. We did ATVs, we rode scooters around everywhere, went to all of like the markets, went to the monkey forest. Met some little, yeah, met Boo some animals. Boo is amazing. Oh, that, that, was, that was when we made, that was when you made your first official, that was when actually, remember when we were in Ubud and I woke up the next morning, we were just posting stories. And then all of a sudden I had like, all these friend requests and all of this thing because it was like yeah it was like uh, that was the first time I really, when I realized I was dating a celebrity. It's not I'm not a celebrity. Dating you're sweet, honey. Dating her, Miss Sheena Shea, and then there was all these articles and there was oh then it started Hi. coming and I think that was when we decided to I don't know enjoy our trip and then not talk about it after that. I think we just wanted to focus on us and that's where that all the rest of the stuff coming up comes from. Um, rose petals. We had this funny like Instagram versus reality because when we got back, he had all these rose petals like in the bathtub and then in the pool, but there weren't enough in the pool and it like wasn't his vision. So I was like, we'll just put more in the bathtub. So he gets all of the rose petals from the pool, puts them in the bathtub. We take all these photos oh. and then realize we're like, what is that? There's like bugs <laughs> everywhere. Like Because he took the flowers from outside. There were bugs already in the rose petals that were in the tub, but we didn't bounce them. Like we straight up went rose. Like this, think about it. Like there's that, but then there's also oh. inside the rose itself. It's not like they washed every rose petal. They just rip them off. So inside the actual yeah. roses, you got all the insects. So. Yeah, well, that was a funny Instagram. We were sitting there, it was really lovely, music, and as soon as you looked down, like straight up, it was like moving. But in the photo, you look good. Yeah, we got we got the pic. It was all about the pic, you we know? Got, we did well. Anyway. Also in Bali, at Finn's one night, 
shop with the night. Remember, <clears throat> you remember. It was a touchy subject, okay? I had a good evening with you, and I was not gonna say I was under the influence because I, I think if you are, that, that's your own choice. Mm -hmm. It's not an excuse. And I may or may not have said I enjoyed your company a lot more than I like. <laughs> <laughs> And you reciprocated that with I love you. So you said two. it first. <laughs> I love you too. Anyway, it yeah. may be a whisper or murmur. Who knows? But I do now. So fast forward back to the mainland. We are now at BravoCon in New York. This was like, yeah, you should like straight up. We met Chargers game. Uh, Played, played romantic vacation. I was like, this is what rugby. it's like to be the bachelorette. Yeah, because it was just bang, <laughs> like event after final. event after yeah. event. And then we come back to BravoCon, which was like, you had to get back for one film, and then we had to, then you were at BravoCon next week. Mm -hmm. and, I, and then this was kind of like our official first week. Yeah. Not, but not official. But around everyone else. We start date, when did we, when's our official date? And what's it, what's it, what did we say? The 15th, right? September 30th. We 30th. Met, on, met the on the 15th. 15th. And then once you... 30th. <laughs> anyway, <gasps> uh, boom, 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 boom. And that's right. So now it runs forward and I'm sitting with all of your friends. When I, I don't mean like <laughs> that came across. That, I, wrong time to use that one. But just like... I get it. Your friends. If you're not a celebrity, what are you? A B-celebrity? Like Bravo Levities, that's right. Bravo Levities yes. for Bravo Con. So I met all your friends, not just on your show, everywhere this weekend. So that was a fun weekend. Mm -hmm. What are we doing to tell us what we did? We, <laughs> Andy, um, Andy, you um, asked Andy Cohen what his name was. <laughs> he said that you had big hands. Yeah, that was that was a trending topic in Punched Broadway Punched stomach in New York. Yeah. Um, that was at Watch It Up It's Live though. And at my, I had this um, appearance with James in New York and my mom texted <laughs> me and she was like, Hey, so I just wanted to check in and see how like Brock's doing with everyone. Like, is the attention too much? Is it overwhelming? Is he adjusting well? And I was like, Mom, please see my Snapchat. <laughs> and literally, it's a video of him doing whatever the the I, I don't know what it's called, but that dance hey, move hey, hey. in the middle <laughs> of this club on top of the bar. I was like, he's doing just fine. <laughs> he's thriving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was fun. Yeah. Wait, well, you miss you miss BravoCon when you you needed your appearance. I fanboyed. I, I fanboyed for you when she was up on stage singing "Good as Gold." Oh, I did that too. Dude, yeah, I didn't know what was going on, but I didn't realize like how big that event was for you guys. Because like yeah. there were so many fans. Like I got a video of you. Like I was like, "Chicks, you're a boss." And I was videoing you, and I just this and then a crowd of people, and you're interacting with them, and I was just like, "Yeah, she's a boss, and she's still kind of because some other members like not boss. Like, like them. Boss. Oh yeah." Okay. I remember that. I remember that. And then we came back to LA, went to the Vanderpump Dog Gala. You looked so good. Yeah, I was, I, thank you, honey. I think that's one of the best photos you've ever taken. That's. I think. I think. I think you guys can tell us which one's your favorite. But I think that one was my. That one was up there. I sent that one to mom, and she was just like, "Oh, it's my little boy who grew up." And I was like, "You look so good." Thanks, baby. Close second by getting ready at. Uh, I was just thinking uh, that, <laughs> but we'll get. We'll get there. We'll stay chronological, but we'll circle back. Um, and then we had another fun festival in San Diego. We had Wonderfront, and then we had Intersect in Vegas. It was just like we had been to so many festivals. We took we took it for granted. I definitely took it for granted. Back to back to back to Wonderfront. Wonderfront yeah. dogs. Wonderfront. Yeah. So Intersect was good. Intersect was hosted by uh, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> but it was it was it was exactly what the richest man if he wanted like do you know how, like rich guys like oh I'm gonna own a club or I'm gonna have a party. Like if you're the richest man in the world, you're gonna own you're in your own festival. And if you're in Vegas, there was there was dodgeball. Mikey was there with us. We yeah. played we played adult dodgeball at this place. It was a huge interactive. And then remember when we were just amazed by the VIP tent that had hardwood floors? Yes. I was walking around like this. It's like and it was, it was like, like heated. Because maybe it was, it was like so cold maybe it was like yeah, my first type of time being in a VIP tent. Maybe I don't know, but I was I was happy with the free arcades and the hardwood floors and the excellent. No, not excellent bar service, but just 
just the hardwood floors of video games. Yeah. Where do we go after that? So yeah, we had a couple more festivals. We had another festival for New Year's Eve. We went to Snow Globe in Tahoe with Tom and Ariana, which was so much fun. But before that, we did Hawaii with the fam for Christmas. Yep. He helped me get my Christmas tree. We did this whole like time lapse of us uh, decorating it. Do you remember? You uh, set up your phone. You're like, I want to do a time lapse of us. Oh, we have that. And then we did it. And then you're like, Wait, I want to put on my Christmas sweater. And then we put on my Christmas sweaters. Oh, this, yeah, I remember those Receipts. moments. Receipts. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean. Uh, New Year's Eve was incredible, and then we had our premiere party at Hyde, which was another one of those all cast events. Oh yeah, crazy time. Someone almost Did, got who, arrested. Who came out? Who came out and started singing on stage? Thanks to like Randall Bush. Too, was it Too Short? Too Short came yeah. out. It was like I mean I don't, I don't know who he was, but um everyone else did. Yeah, shout out to Randall for throwing us the dopest premiere party. Thank you so much. Yeah. And then I was back on Watch What Happens Live in New York. I did that for, I think it was the third episode. You were excited, week three of you the season. You were excited because you got to play rugby. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, we went out there, well, it turned into a trip, right? And then the next week we went, out, we went back to New York to play rugby. Oh, it was, we, we, oh, we came back in between. Yeah, we came back in between. Because right. we went to New York, we, it was such a good spot. We were thinking we about moving back. Plaza. Yeah, and we were yeah, we were we were running around the plaza and then yeah. uh had a good rugby game. First live one for this great one. Great rugby game, so great, he got stitches. I was so into it. And then when we got back from New York, we're going to a family barbecue and he was like, yeah. Babe, I don't wanna walk in with stitches, we need to take them out. I'm like, We're in the car at a gas <laughs> station. What do you mean we need to take them out? A little little tweezers and I mean We took them out. And by we I mean I <laughs> took them out. And then it's Valentine's Day. We're in Las Vegas. You were supposed to play rugby, but then. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, we were trying to get between the two. You didn't, yeah, rugby. you couldn't decide between the teams, but then, you know, sports shortly after got canceled, so there is no rugby right now. There's yeah. no football. There's no but we got to go to Aerosmith. <sighs> okay, let me just take a moment to say that. This night was by far one of the best nights of my entire life. I'm, I'm a huge good. music person. I love classic rock. Anyone who knows me, like, I get more excited to see a legend like Steven Tyler and Aerosmith than seeing like Taylor Swift. No offense, love her. She's great too. But I music. was, but I'm just saying, it's like I was so like, I don't get starstruck easily. I grew up in LA. But the one time I did was with Elton John at Craig's. I was a foot away from him. And then at Aerosmith, my business manager, Nicholas. Thanks, bro. Oh, my God. He got us the best seats. I was so spoiled, and it was so amazing. I actually cried. Like, I... I it was... It was... It was, it was it, all of it was good, right? And for me, <laughs> I felt like I didn't know who Aerosmith was. <laughs> I just... Mm -hmm. Couldn't tie the name to the songs until I heard the songs, and I knew the songs, but I just didn't know the name of the band. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like I could get pardoned for that because I'm a country kid. Yeah, yeah. It's, I didn't know any. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Right. And, and not knowing is not is not like ignorant or like. I, no, you just you knew the songs, you knew the words of the songs, you just didn't know who sang the songs. I was never grown up in the farm to remember all of it. You know, we just right. had to milk the cows and. <laughs> We had a very different childhoods, to say the least. Opposite ends of the world, but also just opposite. By Aerosmith, that was good. We did, um, we went zip down lining. to the, yeah, zip lining downtown. We went to the D Hotel. Yep. He had the biggest steak I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it, was, it was the uh, Tomahawk. Tomahawk! Ooh. Yeah, oh my god, that place on Diamo's is so bomb. Well, we, oh wait, we had the Oscars party. We're gonna, the, the CVS, the bathroom. Yes! <laughs> the Oscars party. Oh, I was so late for that. That's how it started. Mm -hmm. So I was meant to, was I meant to? I was coming up from San Diego or something yes. was happening. I was coming up from San Diego and it took some time. You obviously 
are familiar with what you need to do. So you were getting glam and all that. I was like, yeah, I can make it all the way through town and traffic's not, traffic doesn't exist in LA. I've got you covered, honey. I'll be there at this time. And obviously she didn't realize at one point, she was like, this is not going to happen. You don't have enough time. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was in downtown LA shopping. Oh, you were, yeah. you. Because were... here's my problem. You give me a task and I'm going to do my, I'll do, I'll go above and beyond to get it done. I needed shoes. And she wanted shoes. She sent me a photo of this shoe, right? Size seven. And no, six, 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 six or six them. and a half, right? Yeah. And it had to be the specific, uh, what did you call it? Open toe stiletto. Open toe stiletto with like a string. A strap. A yeah. strap. Like that, was, that was my specific. I'm running around downtown Fashion Valley, whatever it's called. The Fashion District. Every single shop. Santee right Alley. And I, it baffled me because I see them all up there. I'm like, and I just go on. And these people have thousands of shoes. I'm like, hey, do you have this shoe size seven? She's like, nah. I'm like, well, can you go look? Because I know you don't know off the top of your head. But then what he didn't understand is I was like, no, honey, usually the display size is the smallest one because I'm usually a sample size. Yeah. So if they have a seven and a half on the floor, they don't need to go look because they know that's the smallest they have. Which makes sense. But he was so late because he was trying so hard to get me shoes. We got him. Got him. Like, Half a size too small and I got blisters, but we got him. So how did we get there? We got them, we got there. Here's, here we I are. I had to Hollywood. be on the red carpet. Yeah, like, Hollywood red carpet you're meant to be at. You're over here at your... Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Is that where you were going free? Uh, Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks. And then I went to the downtown LA. So here I was thinking I could pick her up and get there in 20 minutes, which is impossible. I, I didn't know this because I'm not from LA. I'm like, babe, I've got 20 minutes. We're good. It's only six miles away. <laughs> it was long and long. Anyway, so she jumped in the Uber, met me at the bottom of the hill so I could pick her up, give her her shoes, and then drop her off 500 feet up the street. <laughs> but then he saw how to get ready, so he thought it'd be best to go to a CVS to get a trimmer and whatever else well, he needed I to get I, ready. I missed glam, so I couldn't like do my beard or put my hair up. And so, I mean, you can laugh at me if you like, I don't care, but I, in my head, I was like, I need to get changed. So I was already clean. So I just needed to shave my beard, you know, wash that off, put my hair up. So all I needed was a sink. So when I was at CVS, I brought all the hair trimmers. I got, got all my stuff and went to the bathroom, walking in like a mess or walked out like a hot mess. I wish TikTok was like, a, I mean, it was a thing then. I just wish we were doing it because I'm like, that would have been such a good TikTok that we still need to, I think, recreate. Like throwing all the stuff in the car. I went to an Oscars party from a CVS toilet. People, <laughs> I told the chicks what was happening. They were working there. They were digging it. They're like, yeah. okay, yeah, cool. And as I walked out, their, their jewels were just like, the standard was what they expected. And while I, I was pretty, I was, we, I went, I, we made it. We got yeah. some photos from it. Check it out. What do you think? CVS? And that side? <laughs> I don't know. Right. Yeah, but it ended up being an incredible night. After that, um... We've had an anime party. We had another cross festival, as I mentioned, and then literally we've been in quarantine ever since. Quarantine, and that brought us to six months. And yeah, we had our six month anniversary here. Yeah. You made me the best dinner. I feel it like so good. I feel like quarantine relationships now get to add on just for like, do you know how like before you're like, oh please, you're in like the honeymoon stage, or you're it's new. Wait till you get a couple. Like wait till later. This ages relationships. Like what should be another six months, I feel like it, we did in, in two months. Yeah. And quarantine hasn't been two months. So you know what I'm just saying? Like this month has felt like we've gone through some hurdles. It hasn't been great, but it, it has been because now we're actually, whatever, I'm gonna stop talking. Ugh. We had our six month anniversary and the best part of that week was our dance party. <laughs> Lights, and we, we were just yeah. like, you know, I'm gonna some coffee, just had a good time. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, and that's my boyfriend, pretty, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you guys, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I'm sticking around. So, welcome to our what comes up next. Is it gonna be public now? Yeah, 
Thank you guys. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's public. Public we're, now. We're going to enjoy it. Have fun throwing um, the rocks at it. It's not, please it's not anything. like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment below, and thanks for watching. Bye. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right. Your dark hair with those eyes so bright. And look into my soul and it sparks my life. Can I take you there? Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Back to when we felt like this was forever Can I take you there?